Today we're going to be talking about sound in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I got the footage and broke it down for you guys so we can take a look at what you can and cannot hear in this game. Just a quick disclaimer at the front, sound is a very subjective assessment so bear that in mind the numbers that I'm giving you will definitely have a little bit of wiggle room and when I'm referring to max audible range I'm talking about the max distance you can go before that sound cannot be heard at all. So first off starting in the game when you parachute who can hear you coming into the ground the parachute has two sounds sound effects, a parachute being put away sound effect, and a landing sound effect. The parachute being put away sound effect can be heard from only a couple meters. It's quite loud, but after a couple meters it's inaudible. And landing can be heard from about 30 meters away, though it's not a very particularly loud sound effect. Picking up weapons and items is an odd thing. For instance, guns and backpacks make sound when you pick them up by using the use key or right clicking in the inventory. However, if you drag them into your inventory, no other players will be able to hear you equip that and they won't actually even see an animation when it takes place. You'll instead just be instantly holding or wearing that equipment. If you choose to drop an item back on the floor, there is never a sound associated with that. And if you choose to put on attachments, whether it be sights, magazines, or barrels, no one will ever be able to hear that as well. Switching fire modes on a gun is inaudible. Nobody else will ever be able to hear it. However, reloading, whether it be a crossbow, a pump shotgun, or a rifle, will be audible. After about two meters, you will not be able to hear any of those reload actions. The shotgun has one weird artifact in that it also plays a shell falling to the ground sound effect, which can, for a, I'm assuming, bugged reason, be heard up to 15 meters away. Punches and melee weapons can be heard, but again fall off after about 2 meters. And pulling the pin on a grenade can be heard, same with laying a molotov, but again after about 2 meters you cannot hear any of those things. Opening a door and closing a door can be heard from about 20 meters away, meaning for most buildings, no matter where you are in the building, you'll be able to hear somebody enter or exit. However, breaking a window can only be heard from about 10 meters away. Definitely seems like an oversight that's actually a very small range for glass shattering. I'm going to do a part two eventually at a future date where I really break down all the nitty gritty of vehicle sounds. But just for this one, we're going to take a look at the ignition sound. When you begin rolling a vehicle forward, it has that engine turnover sound. That can be heard from 125 meters away, a pretty significant distance. Now before we get into the sounds of different movement styles, sprinting versus crawling, I want to address some misconceptions. People believe footsteps indoors are different than footsteps outdoors. The only difference between indoors and outdoors is the ambient noise. There is a louder level of ambient noise when you are outdoors as versus when you are indoors. I'll show an example of the two here. But the audible range of all movements are not affected by being indoors, by being outdoors. The audible ranges are not affected by walking on cement versus walking on grass. The audible ranges are not affected by wearing shoes or going barefoot. There are no differences in the audible ranges. Those things will have an effect on the sound effect that is played. It can be a softer sound, a louder sound, but the overall audible range is uniform, independent of whether you were walking on grass or cement and whether you are wearing shoes or not. At a full sprint, you will be able to be heard from 40 meters away. Running, you'll be able to be heard from 30 meters away. Walking, you'll be able to be heard from 20 meters away. Crouch spinning, you'll be able to be heard from 20 to 25 meters away. 
and Crouch Running Girl also be able to be heard from 20 to 25 meters away, meaning if you're trying to decide between the two, Crouch Running is probably the safer bet. Crouch Walking, you'll be able to be heard from 15 to 20 meters away. And crawling, you'll be able to be heard from 15 meters away. However, within that 15 meter audible range, crawling is a very loud sound effect, so bear that in mind. Jumping, whether you're jumping in place or jumping from a great height, the only thing people will hear will be the sound of you landing. They will not hear pain sounds if you take damage, and that sound of you landing will be able to be heard from about 30 meters away. So the takeaway here is very simple, guys. The faster you're moving, typically the further away people will be able to hear you coming from. And there are a lot of actions in this game that for whatever reason seem to have a very short fall off of about two meters. It doesn't make a ton of sense. I suspect in the future this video will be a bit inaccurate as they patch the sound engine and make the audible fall off not as severe. I want to give a big shout out to LazyGun8 who helped me record this footage. And I want to ask that if anyone knows how I can get access to a custom server, please reach out to me on Twitter. There are certain weapons that I cannot do with the OCD series unless I have access to a custom server. I've tried reaching out to several people but I have not been successful thus far. As always check my description for my Twitch, my Twitter, subscribe if you want to see more OCD content. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Magnum Dopus, keep crunching those numbers.